Hello guys, uh, in the last episode we have seen how to use the AES algorithm to encrypt and decrypt a string. Uh, in this video I will try to make some changes to the code, the same way uh, I have added the remark in the website if you have checked it. Um, and then we will try to export the keys so that we could use them in two different applications, something like a client server application. Uh, let's get started. So uh, if you have noticed in the decrypt method, we have the encryption cipher dot get IV. So the only thing we need from the decryption uh, the encryption cipher sorry is the IV. So uh, and since it's a byte array, we could use it instead of that. So private byte array uh, IV. And uh, in the encrypt method, let's make it a local variable cipher encryption cipher and then we need to get its IV so IV equals to encryption cipher dot get IV back to the decrypt method let's just remove that and put our IV here it's good to go I'm just going to clear the console and run it again so it's good to go now let's go ahead and try to export our keys so here I'll add a little method private void export keys we will need to export uh, both the secret key and the IV so let's get, go ahead and do that uh, secret key is going to be the encoded version of oh, sorry of the key dot get encoded and uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for the IV since it's a byte array we don't need anything else just the encode method let's go ahead and call this inside our main method so AES dot okay run the application Okay, so now we have our secret key and our IV in the string. Uh, if we want to create or initialize uh, our key, let's do, let's do it here in a method, public void. I'll just call it uh, init from strings. And let's pass on the two strings that we have, which are the secret key and the IV and um, to create the secret key let's go ahead and do key equals to new secret key spec this uh, constructor takes two parameters which are the byte array of the secret key and the uh, algorithm so let's go ahead and decode the secret key and give it the AES algorithm here and then um, we can uh, initialize our IV so this dot IV equals to the code of this IV and um, now that we have uh, our own IV, we would need to to save it. So uh, the same way we did with the decrypt method, uh, when we initialize the decryption cipher with uh, our spec, which has the uh, the IV here, we would do the same thing for the encrypt method. So instead of changing the uh, IV here, let's go ahead and duplicate this method I'll change this to to old we don't need it now so and let's make our changes on the new encrypt method here we would need the same thing that we have done so gcm parameter spec equals to new gcm parameter spec it takes the t len and the IV we will pass it on to the init method spec right here 
and um, we are good to go let's try to run the tests I will change the init method here I'll give it the init from strings from from strings the first string is the secret key I'll just copy it from the console and second string is the IV same thing and uh, we can encrypt and decrypt here we'll print result and let's comment out the export keys let's clear the console run the application and uh, voila there it is um, we could do uh, we could separate the uh, classes and use one for the encryption and the other one for the decryption it's just that we need to do the same thing if you want to we could create a new uh, class let's call it client this is going to be the server and um, we would actually need the same uh, the same elements that we have here we, we would need the secret key the uh, and the IV we also would need the init from strings method and uh, let's just say take the decrypt from the for the client the client is going to decrypt let's get the decode and encode methods and uh, let's make our main here we would only uh, encrypt the string so let's take out the decrypt decryption from here same thing here so we would get our encrypted uh, message and we would copy that message and give it to the client to decrypt it and uh, let's go ahead and client clients equals to new client sorry client clients dot init from strings we would have to give it the same parameters that we have given it here the same secret key and the same IV so that it would work uh, if not we would have uh, an IV mismatch or a tag mismatch sorry uh, since we have encrypted it here we would need to decrypt it so let's copy that one out put it here and here we would give it the string to decrypt okay let's put everything in a try catch exception ignored and uh, let's run our set to be server and um, we have our encrypted message let's copy it here and let's paste it right here and run client oh I'm sorry I forgot to print it out so decrypted message run it again uh, voila we can change it here we can change the string if you wish let's give it uh, I just put it to it right there um, gonna run again here the client the server sorry copy this back to our client gonna paste it here and run the client there you go so this is how you go ahead and uh, try to encrypt and decrypt strings in two different applications uh, there are many ways that you could uh, you could uh, use the AES encryption but uh, I personally prefer the RSA encryption since uh, there is a difference between the private key and the uh, public key it's the isometric uh, property of the RSA that makes it uh, more secure since the uh, encryption key and the decryption key are quite different but uh, for the um, uh, AES where the same key that is used to encrypt is exactly the one used to decrypt um, for the IV we have uh, get 
uh, we have uh, got our IV from the encryption cipher, but you can generate your own um, encryption cipher, uh, uh, your own IV, sorry, if you want from random values. I've seen uh, some some people who generate their own values. Feel free to do so if you wish. But uh, just to make it simple, I have just taken the IV from the uh, encryption cipher that is randomly generated. Uh, if you have any suggestion for the next video, feel free to comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.